Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Crown and Council. The last episode didn't get 2,000 likes, which is which is okay. Um, you guys have been absolutely amazing though, helping out the channel by doing that. So I figured one last episode, we'll do one last episode of Crown and Council. My way of saying thank you for letting me play uh, this awesome, fun game. Which we have now gotten to map 26 of, so um, let's jump into this. We've seen this tip before. It's been a few days since I played this, but I feel like I don't even need to refresh my memory. We need to attack that one till it's gone. I'm going to right click on it, and it's gone in free. So we've taken a player out of the game immediately, and do you know, I was just thinking, if we had, say, more than three gold, you could then go and attack another player and take two out immediately, but we won't be greedy. No, we won't. Uh, we've got one gold left. We're just going to take over this entire continent. That's not greedy at all, is it? <laughs> and green has the gold mine, which is something to keep your eye on really. It may give green the upper hand. And no cities just yet, just gonna take a few more territories and now maybe is the time to throw some cities next to our fortress and take over three more little bits of land. Bam, there we go. Okay, so is it gonna heat up? Is anyone gonna attack my continent? No, no they're not. And I guess I shall continue with fortification in a couple of places, a city, and we've got two places we wanna take over. And two gold left, so that seems pretty reasonable to me. And now we're probably going to have to attack another player or attack an island or something at this point. We have 17 gold. And I'm a little bit worried about green and green's research. I would like to take over that first of all, but we need to get on the land. So let's go for this one next to it. Oh wow. First time we're going to right click on this. And that took two. And now we're going to take over these bits. And green is out of the game. It's oh so simple sometimes, isn't it? Let's fortify this island. Let's build oh, a city over here and there, and uh, we can build one more. Let's build another one on this island. Hi, I'm clicking on you. There we go. So next turn, I've got this feeling that we might win, but we do have two islands to take over. That one and this one up here. Ooh, okay. Getting lucky with it, are we? One gold. I've got one gold. What do I do with it? Save it for the next turn. So red gets to take that one back. There's been a rebellion, but now hopefully... Oh, it might be tricky to invade all of a sudden. Let's right click and down to two gold. Interesting. Interesting. Yes, a fortified island is difficult to attack. Maybe we'll build ourselves some of these and get some research going as we expand across this entire island. Can I also build a research on that one? I've got a feeling that I can and we'll save our pennies. There's been a plague. What we'd like right now is some research points. Now I have three, but I've built four of these. Maybe you can only, like, get three per turn. Maybe there's a max. Let's just chuck these down everywhere. And now we have 11. So, no, there isn't a maximum. Don't know what happened there. Let's upgrade our boats. Hi, I'm clicking. Clearly, I'm clicking. And uh, the fortifications are actually gone at this point. So, that was completely pointless. Oh, well, there you go. I do feel like the whole research thing is slightly imbalanced, I guess. Choose upgrades with care. Yes, that makes sense. That's a good tip. Right, big continent here. Everyone's on the continent. The other three players are grouped together. That is definitely in our favour. Um, I'm going to sort of expand outwards like this to begin with. And I'm thinking if we just sort of push up into this territory, force the other players into that area, and they're probably not going to use their boats to come for these bits, right? So we could consider these ours to an extent. So... Oh, that's the most we can do. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's see what the other teams do. Right, so now there's there's a territory. I feel like fortifying that one and this one. And that one, actually. So, two fortifications, six gold. That's all we have. Hi, you're being clicked on. There we go. So, that should secure the front line. And there's been a rebellion. Our territory has been split in two. Oh, no, whatever we do, we'll simply take it back. And uh, all of this stuff is mine. So now is probably the time to start building cities. However, I only have one gold. Um, but it looks like green is going to get caught between the other players here. Uh, I think what we're going to do now is start getting the cities in place. So we want them next to our fortifications. Oh yes, we do. And we can build three more cities. Let's sort of stagger them out like this and fortifications will go in between. Oh, it's been a rebellion and a plague. That's not terribly great. And we are sort of like waiting out the enemy here. We could be a little bit more aggressive, perhaps. Let's put down a uh, fortification right there. I'm going to put another one back here. And we'll 
build some cities and then next turn oh do you know what I think I might put another one down here and there <laughs> and just splash out and put them all over the place right so next turn we're gonna be rolling in money It is our cue to launch an attack uh, the question is what sort of attack do we want to launch and who do you want to target I think I'm gonna target green although we have gotta walk through three of those if we go for purple there's still probably three of them in total. I think purple actually makes more sense. Right, so let's start making our way through this territory. Uh, we're going to right click, 23, 21, look at that, 20, and we've taken over all of those with 17 gold to spare. So I think uh, we'll take over these two territories and fortify them. Which leaves us with some money for some more cities. Wow, that was one heck of a move, wasn't it? We haven't knocked anyone out of the game just yet because purple is hanging around over here. We've lost a couple of territories, uh, but it's probably a case of us just marching through now, isn't it? Let's take out green. We don't want you in the game anymore. See you later. And, oh no, you're an island. Ha, let's do an island attack. Bam. And how much gold do we have? 14. I think we're going to attack the next territory and build a fortification. And then somewhere back here, we'll put in a few more of these. There we go. All right. Now we have ridiculous amounts of money and it's just a case of marching through here until the enemy is vanquished, which they have been successfully vanquished. I've, uh, I've seen all the levels that are on offer and there's a couple of interesting looking ones. Speaking of which, this might be one of those. This is clearly a much bigger map <laughs> than we're used to. And there's some levels with like messages and words written on them, I've noticed. And I think, I think we need to bully Red out of the game quickly. That might be difficult. Can we attack that one? We can. Uh, I definitely want to get to that gold mine. Hi. Right, and we've got it. And we've got one more. I'm going to go up against red to push red in the other direction. But yes, if we could have got over in there and perhaps taken them out first time with the roll of the dice, it might have been alright. Has red been able to build three fortifications immediately? That seems a little bit cheeky if you ask me. And um, we want to head towards that other gold mine so we're going to go around this way and again we're relying on the AI to not attack us we would be very vulnerable right here without any fortifications uh, but the AI does exactly what we want it to do and now we've got the second gold mine oh well, look at that we actually got like you know a lot of gold from our gold mine I think it would be wise to get a fortification in place just there and again we want to squeeze out red so we want to take the bottom of this area want to make it ours we'll put a fortification right there so we're sort of up against red and then with the rest of this four gold, let's just take over these little spaces. Excellent. That looks good to me. I've got a feeling we're going to do all right again. And this is going to be a long game, isn't it? It's going to be a long game on this on this one. Or unless we like, you know, build up steam and start getting a lot of gold pouring in. Then it might not be so long. So I'm going to put a fortification down. Put two cities, maybe a third and fourth. Oh, that's actually all we've got. Let's take over one more territory over there. And uh, I guess we want the gold to drop in from the gold mine on this turn. Well, we always want that, but that's going to help us progress quickly, isn't it? Okay, so I'm happy with that. Reasonable amount of fortifications. Let's take over a few more territories. And I think we should probably consider starting to attack our friend Red at this point. I call him my friend. We want to attack him. What's going on there? <laughs> okay, and that is pretty good, if you ask me. That's all of our gold spent. And we might be able to charge through Red's Empire. This is probably one of those ones where research will make a lot of sense. Because it's going to be a long game. Let's actually let's actually change our plan for this turn. How much gold am I going to have to spend? 25. Let's get some research at the back here. Let's get three of them. Let's get five in total. Oh no, we can only get four for this turn then. Okay. We'll build one next turn and then we'll start attacking Red. But I can't help but feel we're going to need some research to do this. Uh, is it my turn? No, I'm too eager, aren't I? I guess it takes the opponent much longer to play because there's so much more to consider. So much more going on. Like, if you look at the size of purple, that's very powerful and dominant. And uh, and therefore he's going to have more options. Like we do, we've got 35 gold. Incredible. Um, let's actually finish taking over all of our territories. Now we're going to attack red. And just, like, waltz through here. One territory at a time. Yikes. Feel bad for you, Red. <laughs> it's not going well, is it? Okay, now these ones we're going to take to knock them out of the game. I'd like... I'll tell you what, we've got eight. We can put two fortifications down. Let's go for 
this one and that one so we sort of block the entrance a little bit and let's build a city somewhere back here cool bear in mind we can be attacked at any time you know it'd be quite wise for another player to use a ship and just come on our territory and like roam over it but they don't do that do they and these guys are not going for fortifications on these cities which is kind of unusual yeah, there's gonna be a lot of back and forth I'm looking at purple now and I'm thinking you're raking in the money. <laughs> we need to do something about that. We've got nine research points. I think we're going to wait a turn to do something like uh, about that. But we're going to secure more of our own territory first and get a few more cities in place. Uh, we do have 26 gold though. It might be wise to... You know, actually, I really do think that just fortifying and securing this right now isn't the worst idea. Let's get a couple more cities down to 13 gold. I will build uh, build one there. Four more gold. Two cities there. Right, that brings us up to 70 income. So, if we don't get attacked this turn, we'll have our research coming in. And it should make us very powerful. So, green and purple have got an exchange game going on. But purple's clearly got the upper hand. Looks like green may even be getting knocked out very soon. So, we need to attack purple next turn. That is for sure, if purple doesn't attack us. Look, see how much gold purple's got. There you go, coming into our territory. Right, we know what we got to do. Right, we are going to spend money on our foot soldiers because we want to be able to march through all of this territory um, without being slowed down, let's say. So, successful land of attack over here. We didn't need to do that. We could have marched through the middle, but apparently that's what I thought of doing. Wow, that one held up. There you go. Take it over in one go. Now, it's a clicking game. How fast can we click on everything that we want to take over? Remember, I've got 45 gold left. So this is a crazy level. I'm right-clicking on these now, by the way. We're down to 31 gold. I think we need to fortify around this area. And we've got 25 left. So, forts are going in high. I'm still trying to build forts all the way along there. Excellent. That leaves us with 13 gold. Uh, we're going to... Well, actually, we can't knock green out of the game because he's on these other islands. I'm just going to plough through all of here and take back these cities, I think. I say take back. They were never ours to begin with. Right. That was very successful. One more attack. That's probably the tipping point. So, how much gold do we have as income now? Is it not going to tell us the next turn? Okay. Green's trying to retreat up here. Oh, tough luck there. They're not having the best of luck, are they? Taking back the territory. 17 gold at the moment. Oh, wow. Okay. Taking out our fortifications, which has slowed them down. Okay, so that might look bad, but we now have 70 gold. <laughs> um, so we shall, you know, simply just storm back through, taking over all of these. And we have, you know, more money to, to play this game of exchange. Now, I right-clicked on some of these, and they're telling me fail. Right-click is attack until you win. So unless I've run out of money, I don't know what that's about. Cool. Right, now we've got to swim across to this island. There we go. <laughs> we've landed, taken out all of this. Bam, purple, you are in big trouble. Let's take out that little island. Come on. Come on. Wow, that took a while. Let's get green out of the game. If we can. March across onto that land. Bam, green must have another one. I can see it. it's down here. Let's take purple out if we can. Nope. Okay, that's it for us. So green and purple fighting down here. We can upgrade our ships. Or perhaps we'll just upgrade our cities. Do you know what I feel like doing right now? I feel like building cities everywhere. Is that okay with you? I don't know why, but we won't have many opportunities to build this many cities in a game. <laughs> so I will take an extra turn and do just that. This is a lot of fun. Oh yeah, we can take out our fortifications and replace those too, can't we? Crazy. Craziness. Absolute craziness everywhere. Cool. All right, then. Let's take over this island and that island. Hi. Wow, these are my upgraded ships, and they are failing to launch an attack. Are you serious? Oh, I clicked on that after we took that one over. Wow, that used up a lot of gold, and they're upgraded ships. Oh, no, no, we didn't upgrade our ships, did we? We upgraded our cities. What am I on about? So we now have 560 gold. <laughs> that is what I call an empire. An absolute empire. Hi, the empire is coming through. We're going to knock you all out of the game. See you later. 
and we vanquished our enemies. So that was, you know, fun at first, then it got quite easy. Let's see what map 29's got installed. Okay, a small one. We are on the largest continent, though. There is a city uh, sort of next door, and we want to stretch to the other city, of course. Why would we not want some cities? Okay. Purple's taken over that island, which means Purple might be looking for another island. And we got two more. I'm going to take these bits over here. There we go. Right, and not much happened there. I think everyone had some unsuccessful attacks, which means we have eight goals. We're going to go here and here, and then we're going to build two fortifications in those spots. So one next to our city, one over here, because I've got a feeling they might attack these islands. Uh, we're not connected to that, I just realised. So now is the time to build cities. We'll put them next to our fortifications. And looks like we're going to have to build another one right there. Which means we can put a city here and there. And then a fortification in the next turn on the corner. And then we're ready to sail across the seas. Right. And no one's attacked this continent down here. Guess where I'm going to go? Down here. Where else is there to go? And that island is ours. Let's take it over. Let's put down one there. Oh yeah, one up there as well. And that's all we can do at the moment. Right, and they're fighting each other, which is fantastic if you ask me. Wow, I don't like that though, Purple. That's quite aggressive. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to take these back. Yep, I'm right-clicking. There we go. Good stuff. Fortify again. And we're left with one gold. So interesting. That turn didn't really work too well for us. And Purple's got quite the aggressive strategy. So we need to take back our territories. And we need to invade Purple, who is becoming a nuisance. Hi. Purple, you're in trouble. We are going to take over your gold. Oh, that's why. That's why Purple is doing so well. It's got a gold mine. We want to fortify that gold mine. And I think we'll just fortify this island in general. And what else can we build with our four gold? Let's build two more cities down the bottom. Right, there's been a rebellion. Let's take that back. Build the fort there. Looks like Red attacked us down the bottom. That was naughty red. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Gonna be in trouble now when I attack. Yeah, okay. And then how much gold do I have? Ten. One, two, three. And we can attack an island, which will be this one. Oh, unlucky. Could have taken purple out of the game. So we have very much secured our areas. Making tons of money out of it. No one has attacked us that turn. It's our time to shine. And possibly, if it will let me click on this, vanquish our enemies. Red. Gonna right click on you. Bam, see you later. See you later. There we go, we did it. Taking them all out of the game. Next map, map number 30. Let's see. Yes! Yes, I knew there were levels like this. This is what I was talking about. Now, it's still, you know, a level. There's still territories that border other ones. But look, a secret message. So, I think there is a player there. Yeah, Fishfim, Income 1. Midring. And Birdwall. And who are we? Baha. <laughs> okay. We have free gold. Where do we want to go? We want to go down to the gold mine. I think... Is this territory connected to any others? I don't know. I think it's like, that's an island. We're here. Yeah, look. Oh, no, we've been attacked. Yikes. I need that gold mine. <laughs> I need it without question. There we go. And we're going to take a city here, which is going to be risky if it gets taken over. And there's been a rebellion. Brilliant. Wow. Wow. This might be a tough one. We might have to rely on the gold mine here to help us out. Now I've got two gold left. I could build a city. I kind of feel like that might backfire if they choose to attack us. I think I might leave that there as a buffer. I've got a feeling this one's going to be very difficult. Right. They didn't attack and a plague hit us. That really sucks. <laughs> uh, but what we're going to do is not worry about it. And we're going to attack. Oh, unlucky attack with our one gold. So hopefully we can just push out of here steadily and get red, get rid of red. Yes, that sounds good. Uh, but now we're fortified on two sides. I'm going to build that there and I think save our other two pennies. It's going to be a slow and steady one. So red's trying to attack this. If it runs out of money, then it might be our chance to swoop in there. So I'm actually going to save my pen. I could build a city here. Ooh, yeah. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> Forgot about that. Oh, Red is running away a little bit up there. Not enough to take Purple out of the game. Uh, but we now should be able to go one, two. Can we attack that? 
No. Okay, so now we own this island. We are now going to spend some money up here. Hi, I'm trying to use this. Okay, we're left with six. So, fortification and fortification. I'm going to double up on the front there. Don't want to lose this island. However, we are open to invasion like that from from ships, but it means we can take it back relatively quick. Cool. Alright, so I think we just want to get a good dice roll, take purple out of the game. That's been done. Build another city over here, and we should be potentially rolling in it. Who knows? Hey! <laughs> well, hey there, bro. Have fun. Cool. Alright, we got we got 12. We're going to take out this fella. See you later. That's us. Going to try and get over there. And again. Oh, not today. Well, just one more enemy who's trying to attack us across the seas. 25 gold. Do you know what we've done? I think we've vanquished our enemies successfully again. We have. Awesome. That was cool. That's probably going to be the last one. Yep, this looks like a normal level. So we got to one of those cool, fun levels and uh, it was nice to see that. Anyway, that is the last episode of this series. Thank you for all your support. As always, do appreciate it. Hope you've enjoyed these videos, and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye-bye.